Now to the latest from Baltimore. Today, workers began the daunting task of cutting the destroyed bridge into pieces, a critical first step in the urgent effort to reopen the city's blocked port. CBS's Nicole Skanga is there and getting up close to it all with the U.S. Coast Guard. Nicole? Good evening, Mark. Today, our closest look yet at the destruction. CBS News embedded with the U.S. Coast Guard, part of the 24-7 federal and state operation with a central mission to reopen the port. The ninth busiest port in America now at a standstill. The container ship Dolly trapped under an estimated two to 3,000 tons of twisted metal. Before the U.S. Coast Guard can reopen this vital shipping channel, authorities are rushing to clear the debris spanning 700 feet. We're about 250 yards away from the site of the bridge collapse. Behind me, you can see one, two, three cranes poised to lift the wreckage off of the container ship Dolly. A temporary channel is now in the works to get smaller ships moving. If we can open up another one that will help the economy here and move traffic in and out of the Port of Baltimore, even if it's not the deep draft, we want to take advantage of that opportunity. Baltimore bound container ships now being rerouted to other ports. That cargo will be redistributed between the Port of, port of Virginia, the Port of New York, and the Port of Philadelphia. Baltimore handles more cars and farm equipment than any other port in America. Baltimore is the largest in the nation and certainly by far the largest on the U.S. East Coast, and there isn't a single place that can replace them. The port generates over $5 billion in worker wages, roughly $650 million in state and local tax revenue, and more than 50,000 jobs, including roughly 8,000 port workers, like crane operator John Zafia. We're all wondering how long it's going to take to clear the main channel so we can get ships back in so we can work. Maryland lawmakers are now crafting a bill that, if greenlit, would stand up a temporary financial relief program run by the Department of Labor. It's designed to help workers who regularly clock in at the port, and now they're waiting for it to reopen. Mark? Nicole Skanga with new pictures and new reporting. Thanks.